Hi everyone and welcome to the final video of the self preparation for CAT 2022 series. In this video we are going to talk about the DILR section. Starting off with its basics and the syllabus, generally it's divided into two parts. One is logical reasoning and second is data interpretation. Earlier in the exams there used to be separate sets for DI and LR but nowadays we are seeing mixture of these sets which means that it's not recommended for you to skip either of them if you're preparing for this section you need to prepare both lr as well as di there are several topics which appear in the exam under these buckets which i will be putting in the description they are commonly known as venn diagrams seating arrangements pie charts tables bar graphs a lot of them are there but i would just list them in the description so that you can check them out and practice them Coming to the resources where you can practice these questions from, there are generally three kinds of resources. First are the self-preparation books that are available out there in the market. Second are the sectional tests and mock tests. And finally, questions that are not from CAT exam, but from other exams like SPI, PO, LIC, etc. Now, in case of self-preparation books, I would recommend you to check out Arun Sharma's LR and DI book. There are two different books. I have already reviewed the LR book, but haven't reviewed the DI book book yet will be doing it soon but i have personally used this book so i can state that the books are good enough for a person who just wants to start off with the basics of lr but i would say that if you really want to understand what are the types of questions asked in the cat exam the difficulty level of the questions then i would recommend you to check out the mock tests and sectional tests which are available online i would put the links in the description as well you can obviously also try other exams questions they may not be at the same level as the CAT exam but will still help you in building logical reasoning ability for this exam. A popular question here is how many sets should I be solving per day? On an average I used to solve 3 to 5 sets in the month of Jan and 5 to 7 sets in the month of Feb and onward. You can also follow the same criteria, you can also go higher as per your own understanding. The only recommendation I'll give is to spend more time on each question and try understanding how it is to be solved rather than looking at the solution directly. This is an approach that I recommended in QA but would not recommend you in DI because the more time you spend on a particular question trying to understand how it is to be decoded, the better your reasoning abilities would be. One of the biggest problems you are going to encounter while solving DILR questions is calculation. Even though there are calculators available during the exam, it may become difficult for you to carry out these extensive calculations in the exam which will cost you a lot of time. So a recommendation that is often given to students is to improve their calculation speed. Now I'm going to suggest you a couple of resources that I use during my time and I'm aware that a lot of other students also use them in order to improve their calculation speed. The first resource that I used a lot during my preparation is Math Trainer. There's also a similar website called Rank Your Brain, but I'm going to give you a demo of Math Trainer. So when you go to this website, you can use your mobile phone as well. I generally played this game on my mobile. I would be traveling. I would simply open up this website and start off with the first level. So generally, the questions that come in the first few levels are very easy. But the more quickly you are able to solve them, the more easily you are upgraded to the next level. There are approximately 100 levels in this game and it's very difficult to reach those levels. After you start playing it, it becomes tougher and tougher. But the more you solve these questions, the more you are able to understand how to mentally calculate because your brain gets triggered to solve it mentally. Don't use your mobile phone in order to calculate it. Don't use Google. Don't use any other resource. Just try solving it mentally and you will see a significant amount of improvement in your mental calculation speed if you practice this on a daily basis. Another resource in the same direction and especially if you have some time available is to know how Vedic math operates. There are a couple of tricks which are shared which help you solve questions quickly. Now I'm going to share a video which talks about 100 such tricks that you can use in order to solve the questions quickly and you can check its link in the description box. The third resource is also also an app it's called mind games there are many games based on reasoning calculation speed just mental awareness as well and you can easily play them compare your scores with other peers as well i used to play this as a family and everyone in my family used to check where their percentile is and it, it was just a fun thing to experience you can also couple it up with other puzzles like sudoku kakuro and others i would highly recommend you to at least check this app out 
the fourth resource is to understand how number plates function so this is a fun exercise and i learned it from one of the quora answers by a cat topper he used to say that whenever he traveled to his coaching institute and there was some time available he used to look at the number plates and use them in order to improve his calculation speed so he would either calculate the sum of the first two digits or the last two digits or the sum of first two with the last two or might even divide them just simply try to carry out these exercises i feel like it's a great opportunity if you travel a lot in the day if you are a working professional for example you can definitely check this out and try calculating the numbers using number plates the final resource i would recommend is to revise your golden book so golden book is just a name that i had given to a repository of cubes squares factorials prime numbers these kind of things that i kept in a particular notebook i'll show it to you how it looks like you simply have to create this you can go through my golden book i'll put it in the description and you keep revising it whenever you have some free time could be before taking a mock could be just when you have a couple of minutes spare in the day just revise it it will help you with your calculation speed now these were some tips on calculation speed using them when you are solving questions if you come across a type of question that you are not able to understand then i would recommend you to check out these channels on youtube i have heard a very good review of these channels you can surely check them out along with that there are a couple of unacademy videos available on each and every type of dilr set that you can definitely go and check out on their website so these are a couple of resources that i would recommend you in case you're not able to understand the concepts of dilr the last tip i would give is to create a mental legend for dilr questions when you come across a dilr set you would notice that it's generally very lengthy and it constitutes so many names there might be some males some females and with different names and those names are also very lengthy so if you keep writing every single name on a piece of paper and let's say it's a seating arrangement question there will be a lot of clumsy information on the paper and might make it difficult for you to mark the correct answers rather if you make a mental legend while practicing those questions for example if you mark every female by a circle and every male by a square and similarly rather than writing the entire name if you just write the first two alphabets of their name to denote who that person is it might make your life easier you'll make lesser mistakes also in case of di sets it is highly recommended that you make a proper diagram or you use ample space to carry out your calculations sometimes when we scribble on paper we are likely to make silly mistakes in the dilr sets so make use of the space as well as the information that is available make a mental legend of your own and try solving the questions by consistently using the same mental legend again and again so this is all from my side with respect to dilr if you have any questions please feel free to put them in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video